Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you about comments, which is a very important part in programming. Comments basically are a piece of uh, code that will be ran over without actually being executed, which is very nice to have and to use. Uh, mostly in the programming world, it's used to tell other people what you want a piece of code to do, why you're using that piece of code in aspect to another optional piece of code that you could be using. Uh, just different things like that and it's very nice if you have a very neatly commented program it tells you what you want the program to do exactly why it's also a good place to put your copyright and uh, things like that so here's what we uh, do to make a comment you're going to put a hashtag octothorpe or um, a pound symbol which is which you get if you press shift 3 and then you're just going to type whatever you want so we'll do this is ah my bad comment just like that and now if you press enter nothing happens because this uh, this tells python whatever comes after this on that line is uh, not in use so there's also another type of um, comment which is a multi-line comment and to do that you do three quotations you can use single or triple quotations which would look like that and then you can do uh, what I'm doing here so now everything within these three is a comment uh, Usually, this is what's used for a comment just because this is a lot easier to see as a comment, this little hashtag, than it is to see these quotation marks because that's used a lot in just a bunch of different things. And yeah, also uh, in the idle Python GUI, it'll just give you like a uh, like string code for if you wanted to print that if you use multi line comments. But point is, it all gets rendered as a uh, not rendered it's pretty much used as a comment and it will not actually be used in code uh, or when your programs ran so I have a uh, program here that I will just show you guys how I would um, comment on my own programs it's also nice to make little notes to yourself as you see I've done here so I said Remember that I am making a class tomorrow to make this program more efficient instead of so much in the if statements. So what I'm telling myself is instead of having to use all of this stuff here, just make a class that can sum all of it up. And basically what this program does for those of you who are wondering, it'll uh, ask you to make a file name. It can be one that exists or not makes the file, writes it, uh, deletes it if you want, writes to it, blah blah blah. Really simple program. Anyways, uh, eventually I will show you guys how to do something like that. Um, so that's about it for uh, comments. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section below. It's the easiest way to see uh, for me to notice if you're asking a question, unless you PM me. That's also just as good. I always check my inbox and because I don't get a lot of comments, I read all of them. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.